Welcome to the 8th grade math homework helper series. Tonight's homework is EL14, writing equations from a table of values. We'll start by taking a look at question 1A. You are to determine the slope, the y-intercept, from each table of coordinates, and then write an equation for the given information. Okay, so if we take a look, we have all of our x-coordinates here. We have all of our y-coordinates here. So we're starting at 3, 3. If you can envision a grid, we're starting at 3, 3. And then we move to 4, 4. And then we move to 5, 5. So you can see the increase for each one of these, keeping in mind that it's going to be y over x. So the increase here is by 1. The increase here is by 1. So we're looking at a slope of 1 over 1. The y-intercept, now remember from past homeworks, the y-intercept has to be 0 and then the y-value. And if you look over here, we don't have a 0 for an x-value. So we need to anticipate what that would be. So if we start at 3, keeping in mind, we've been moving 1 at a time. So we go 3, 2, 1, 0. So that's 3 moves to get to 0. So if we have 0 here, we have to do 3 moves to get to 0 over here. And keeping in mind, we need to move by the same amount that it has been on the table up to this point. So since they've also moved by 1 from each, we're going to move by 1. So we go 2, 1, 0. So our y-intercept is going to be 0. And the coordinates of the y-intercept are going to be 0, 0. <coughs> we can now take the slope and the y-intercept and put that into the equation. So we have y equals 1 over 1 x plus 0. Now we can clean this up a little bit because technically we don't have to have the other, we don't have to have it over 1 next to the x and because it's 1 we really don't even need to have a 1. We could just have the x and plus 0 we don't need to show that either. So we could rewrite this as simply y equals x. The 1 is assumed to be there and plus 0 is unnecessary. Now let's take a look at 1c. <coughs> Again, we'll look at the way that the x values are changing. It goes from 2 to 3 to 4 to 5. So they're moving by uh, one jump for each one. And this goes from 4 to 8 to 12 to 16. So this is clearly jumping by 4 each time, or decreasing by 4 if you come from this way and go back. So the slope, <coughs> remember, it's y over x. So the change in value of y is by 4 here. So that's going to be our top number. And the change in value of x is by 1. That's going to be our bottom number. So it gives us 4 over 1. The y-intercept, again, we need to have 0 and then something over here. So in order to start from 2, 1, 0. So we had to go back two times. Now we have to go back two times over here as well, but keeping in mind, we're counting by 4. So one jump back from 4 is going to get us to 0, because we're moving four spaces with each jump. The next jump behind that is going to be a negative 4. So our y-intercept is negative 4, and the coordinates are simply what we have right here, 0, negative 4. We can take this slope, and we can take the y-intercept and insert them into the equation. So we have y equals 4 over 1x minus 4. And we can clean that up a little bit as y equals 4x. We don't have to show the 1 on the equation. Minus 4. Now let's take a look at 1f. If you look at the x coordinates, the change in x seems to be a jump of 1 each time from negative 1 to 0 to 1 to 2. And if we look at the change in the y value, it's going from 2 to 5 to 8 to 11. So the pattern here seems to be that it's increasing by 3 each time. So our slope, remember it's going to be y over x. The change in value of y was 3. The change in value of x was 1. So we get 3 over 1. Our y-intercept. Now for this problem we actually have 0 
as one of our coordinates for x. So that works out nicely for us. We don't need to figure out what it would be. We have it right here. If x is at 0, y is at 5. So our y-intercept is 5. The coordinates of the y-intercept are exactly as it sits right here, 0, 5. And we can now take this 3 and this 5 and insert them into the equation. So we have y equals 3x plus 5, and this is as neat as it gets. We don't need to do anything more to it. Okay, please use the problems that were done for you tonight to help you solve the additional problems that are on your homework. And remember, as always, the key to success in math is not only working hard, but working smart.